Hey guys, Matt Hoots with Rated Green, and I want to talk about some easy retrofits that you can make to your house to improve the indoor air quality. Now, I'm in this bathroom right here. We just finished renovating it, or in the punch out phase, but it's mostly functional right now. One of the things that most people don't do is use ventilation properly, where whether it's your kitchen exhaust, they don't necessarily turn it on or use it because it's too loud. We're going to create another video for that, talking about how you can retrofit one of those to make it quieter. But also bathroom fans is one of the things that's mostly misused, mostly because most people don't turn it on. Or if they try to use it, it doesn't. they turn it off prematurely, they leave, and you still have a buildup of either too much moisture or just smells from people using the bathroom uh, just in, in, in the normal way. So I'm going to talk about what we use in here. So we used a Panasonic fan, and with this fan, there's two different sensors on it. So I've eliminated all the switches in here. The only switches we have in here are for the lights for the shower and also the lights for the vanity. So with this one, there's two different sensors on it. One is a motion sensor. So as you're walking in, it kicks on. It notices if you flush the toilet. And what it does is it has a motion sensor on it and it stays on for a period of time. And once you leave the space, it's going to, you can set it for you know, a few seconds, you can set it for a few minutes, up to an hour. So when you leave the space, it continues to run at a low CFM. That way it continues to ventilate, especially after you leave the space. Now the second sensor on here is like when you, when you turn on the shower, there's a moisture sensor in the fan and that moisture sensor detects if there's a lot of steam in the area It'll continue, to, it'll, it'll kick on and continue to run until it notices that the relative humidity is at a certain dew point within the space. Now, what's, what's nice about that is when you take a shower, and most people take a shower, they turn on the bath fan, they're aware that it's really steamy in there, but when they turn the shower off, there's still steam in the air, it's condensed on the sides, and there's still a lot of humidity in the air. So that sensor in the fan is going to stay on until all the humidity is out of the air. It's, it's got a sensor in there and it's say, hey, if it's still 60%, 70% in here, it's going to stay on. Once it reaches that set relative humidity, it'll cut off and you don't have to worry about it. So again, one fan, two sensors, you've got a motion sensor, so if you just walk in the space, you're just using the toilet, it kicks on, runs for a period of time, and it kicks off. Then you've also got that moisture sensor. And you can hear it just kicked on, it's, it's still running, and it's not gonna turn off until all of the moisture is out of the air, and you don't have to worry about it condensing on any of the surfaces. When it condenses on the surfaces and stays on there too long, it dwells too long, you can have mold, you can have other types of microbial issues in the space. So this is one way to keep the air clean, smelling good, and also preserving the finishes inside the bathroom so your bathroom will last longer. So many of you guys are asking, you know, is this something that we can retrofit? Absolutely. So in this case, we had a bath fan up here. We took the other bath fan out. We put this new one in. We put the sensors in place. Um, in this case, we actually got rid of the switch, but you can actually have a switch in place if you want to. So there's a switch that you can put in place. It's more of a low voltage switch. So if people do want that uh, ability to control the fan. But in our case, we eliminated the switch. We eliminated the power uh, going to the switch leg and it's only we do have power going to the fan, however, without that disconnect of the circuit, the only thing that's cutting it on are these motion sensors. We reconnected it to the exhaust that's going out, so all that stayed in place. So this is a very easy retrofit. If you're looking at upgrading your fan, definitely consider one of the ones from Panasonic that has that motion sensor and that moisture sensor in it. Now I've got a link in the description below if you guys want to find out how to find that. Let us know what you guys thought about this video. Again, Panasonic is one of the partners of Rated Green. Check out their profile. And if you guys have any other questions about you know, simple fixes that you can do to your house, let us know in the comment section below. And we'll create a video just for you.